Hello, this is Slingshot Warrior coming to you with my big Q-tip build, part nine. Okay. Now, this is this the business end is finished. Um, what I did was basically um, wrapped it with several layers of electric tape. As you can see, it's much thicker than it was before, and uh, shellacked it with Gorilla Glue because Gorilla Glue, when you shellac it with Gorilla Glue, where you take pieces of box top cardboard like this, uh, flat and um, and kind of curved. This is like a cardboard roll, and um, you basically uh, you apply it this way and you scrape it off this way because you don't want too much on it because it'll expand. So you want to basically scrape off as much as you can. Another tip is basically always put your tape in at the bottom of your Q-tip. Never put it at the, at the top end. And always cut it at an angle so it will basically when you glue it it will hold that. I made a mistake like that, like doing it flat. If it's at an angle it will it'll basically adjust any surface. And what I basically used was this, Gorilla Glue and pieces of cardboard. Well, it's almost finished. I have to basically get rid of a lot of dry spots. There's not a lot of dry spots on this, but I have to remove the dry, dry. Basically, anything that's dry spots, anything that's not slick and smooth, that's been shellac with Gorilla Glue, you have to basically um, find your dry spots and basically um, apply Gorilla Glue on them. You have, under a light, you can do that. And then you're finished with the business end. More on the, I'll be making the handle um, next time. Bye.